Hey guys, it's Agosti Dunra right again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. So today I'm going to continue the Oculus Quest development videos. I know many of you asked me, Dilmer, could you do more videos on Oculus Quest development? And I'm actually going to do a lot more videos. So I'm really excited about today's video. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to jump into Unity and show you another component that is going to basically allow us to tilt our head around. We're not going to be basically moving in distance, but we're actually going to use a component that is going to be stationary, and it's going to allow us to create experiences where you're basically just sitting in a place and you want to look around. You might want to look at the space. You may want to look at different areas. You may want to just stay stationary and then just basically shoot different things around the area. So. Let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're gonna be doing today in Unity, which is to create a new scene where we're gonna be using a new component. So this is a scene that we created last time and I can show you that we have a few obstacles and, and this controller basically allow us to move around, we can jump, we can also do double, that what I call double X run, which allows me to run much faster. So. There's some experiences where you really don't need to translate from one point to another. So those experiences are the ones that are gonna be basically helpful for the video that I'm doing today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this one and I'm gonna call it just VR stationary. And let me just double click on that. And for those of you who haven't watched my videos before, just keep in mind that I'm gonna be putting this in GitHub. So you're gonna be able to download that code. So don't worry if there's something that you know, you didn't see or you want to try on your own because I'm going to make that available. So now that I have this scene available, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Build Settings, and we're basically just going to uncheck the one that we had and basically add the new one. Awesome. So we're basically not going to be moving around. We're just going to stay stationary. So I still want to see everything. I think it'll be cool to see, but I want to see some things above me. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start right here. You can see the the player controller is going to be right there and I want to place a couple of objects above me so I'm going to clone this cube right here and we're just going to basically put it right above it and I think it's too big so what I'm going to do is let me go on Y and let me go to orthographic view and I'm just going to place a couple of them right above it and we can do one right there and what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and unpack this prefab and this one is going to be above and the reason why I'm gonna mention I'm gonna call it that is because I'm gonna change the material. And the Oculus data integration actually includes a material which is called cube material. And that's the one that I'm gonna assign to this. And the reason why I wanna do that one is because that one has different textures on different angles. So I wanna see how that looks. So let me go ahead and go back into the Y axis and we can just clone this one. I'm gonna move this one a little bit further. We can probably just put another one right here. So I'm gonna to try to make kind of like a plus symbol, at least a point on, on the end of each, of each of the axis. There we go, and I think, I think something like that works. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy the ones on the outer area, I'm just gonna clone them. And then we can basically just put them in the air so that we can see them. And we can probably just resize those. I think something like that works. So just imagine that we're gonna be, we're actually gonna be right there and we're not gonna be able to move. And we're gonna basically rotate and, and look around and see how things look like. So what I'm gonna say is that I'm not gonna use this controller. This is the one that I'm gonna use if I was moving around. So that's the one that has the character controller. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. And I'm gonna add another controller component that Oculus provides, which is meant for, for things like this where we're gonna be stationary. So I'm gonna go into prefabs under VR, and we're gonna basically look at the, let's see, it's called the OVR camera rig, and we're gonna drag it and drop it into controllers. And that's where we're gonna be. So you can see that there's not a character controller assigned, but I have an OVR camera rig, which all the different settings. I, I also have the OVR camera manager, which is actually right here, and also the OVR headset emulator. So there's a lot of different settings that we could, you know, we could play with. I'm gonna show those in the future videos. So 
what I want to do is this is basically the entire setup to be able to you know have a camera and be able to look around all you have to do is just add the OVR camera rig to your scene and then basically you know set up your scene in a way that it's going to play well with the with the component that we're adding so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to let me just fix this names right here so that when you clone the repository everything is clean for you so it's gonna go ahead and clean that up and then there we go so the next thing that I'll do is let's go ahead and build it and I want to show you how this looks on the device so I'm gonna go ahead and get the device connected and then we can build it to that device all right guys so I have the device connected now so let me go ahead and click on refresh and then Oculus Quest and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on build and run. It's going to tell us to basically select the name of the scene that we want to create. I'm going to just call it VR movement. I think, I think that's fine. Let's just hit save and wait for it to get to the device. All right, guys, so it looks like the application is now launching. Let's see if everything works. And it looks like we can look around just like I was telling you because we have the OVR camera rig. And I'm looking, I'm basically looking up for, to be able to see everything around. And everything looks great. I can see those cubes. And also, so as you can see, we don't need the character controller, which is basically part of the OVR player controller that I showed you previously. All we need is the OVR camera rig, which is the one that we added this time. So I think this is everything that I wanted to show you guys. Thank you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you could check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. And also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting early access to source code and also information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.